Hi, Indy. Zazong Shou. Look what you shouldn't do. <laughs> if you are going to swim in the ditch, that don't do this, please. Okay. As you can see, it's after light, and the sun has set um, quite a long time ago. So I would like to take you on a very brief walk um, down this uh, down this road, and it will be quite a short one. And I think that I will be filming only one road in one video because I've got not too much space on my hard drive. But at least I haven't ever shown you this one. There are quite many people around. I think it's because of Friday. And Mosquitoes are biting, and this one is not that far as the one that I showed you in my latest video. I think it's what it is. Maybe it's Zhuguli. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> At first I thought that it's Olga, but it's not. And it's still community of Trimontnik, but it's probably the the age road the last road of this community and the next one will be um, the next one will be SMT Zarechnev and some people are walking behind me and it irritates me to no limit but I think that they have gone away and that's very good but someone is heading over here and that's not good either okay <laughs> she passed by and just look at this sky it's very nice and the last time I didn't try to film two roads in a bunch, not only because of that um, extraterrestrials that I saw at the woods. I'm sorry for being a little bit excited about this. Uh, too much. Too much fascination. But I'm, I'm pretty sure in what I saw. So I think it was alive. And I think that um, as soon as Vern uh, tried and scared me a few times, uh, he was trying to talk me out of going somewhere. Just look at this plot. It's very nice. And these flower pots <laughs> look a little bit weird, but it's really nice. Such a artistic plot. And to be honest, I not very much into this type of houses with no siding, no paint, no nothing. I like more cozy ones. This one is not cozy. And yeah, Bernd Pern, uh, he a few times he talked me out of going somewhere and I love this balcony. I'm not sure if you can really walk outside, walk out of the room and look at this view and these wood carvings. They are not very typical, but at least some wood carvings they indicate that it's um, they give you some link you know to the Russian style and this fence is really old <laughs> don't you think but it looks nice anyway well this is this looks like a desolate plot. 
and I think that I'm already running out of space on my hard drive. So filming only one road was a good idea. At least I can accomplish this. Sorry for the fences. I hate when there are only fences around and I can see nothing. Yeah, but people are trying to avoid the situations like this. That's some um, some people like me are filming and taking pictures. Probably that's not nice of me, but I just pass and walk away, pass by and walk away and do no harm. And I'm doing it for romantic sake. This is a nice house and someone is sitting on the second floor. And it looks like they climbed there by this ladder. That's really strange. <laughs> okay. As you can see, the afterlight gets reflect, gets uh, it's reflecting on the siding and on the windows. I, I didn't tell you, but as a rule, I don't know why it happens, but as a rule, the most picturesque plots are at the woods, are close to the woods. This is a strange rule, but I like a lot. And it looks more wild and private, you know. For example, like this one. It's a very nice house and I, of course I haven't seen it, I haven't seen many places in our village and so you can say that I'm discovering them with you. Well, as you can see the light is getting very white and the objects are dissolving in the light so I have to adjust my camera all the time. Not easy but at least You can see something. If I had more space on my hard drive, I would, of course, I would try to film another one. But that's probably not that bad that I'm getting back soon. It looks really wild here at the woods. Well, can you hear, can you hear the rain drizzling?